You've seen her on Good Morning America, all the way from Biloxi, Mississippi. Please give it up for the very funny Katie Olson. Hey, what's up, everybody? What up, gangsters? Yeah, I'm just, I, we're all muted here, so I'm just going to assume hysterical laughter has already begun. And um, I am in Mississippi, which is weird fact about this state. It's the only place where if you look at anyone long enough, they will spit. So that's a good time. And um, I'm also pursuing a worthless social science degree online. I go to law school. So... Um, which I think there's something like awesomely medieval about telling people you go to law school during a plague. <laughs> like Katie wrote that brief during the plague of 2020 and then it extended into 2021. Um, but I don't know if law school is really going to work out for me because like I was interning at this law firm last summer and they wanted me to show up to a meeting at 730 in the morning. I'm like, guys, please. If I'm meeting you at 7.30 in the morning, I fucked you the night before. <laughs> right? I'm like, hey, let's exchange briefs. I really want to make senior partner. Um, so the law and me, I don't know. Though I do kind of enjoy that while everyone else on Facebook was pretending to be an expert in constitutional law, I was actually becoming an expert in constitutional law. So... Um, I'll, I'll give you my thoughts on impeachment. Uh, a lot of my classmates have very lofty thoughts, like perhaps the 14th Amendment would have been a better route to go, but there's no clear triggering mechanism and it hasn't been used since the Civil War. My main impeachment thoughts, what the hell is wrong with Mike Pence? Dude, your boss literally sent people to kill you, right? Like he sent people and they were like and mike's like i don't know maybe it wasn't me they were like saying hang mike pence right i don't know how much clearer they they built the thing for you to die on i don't understand this mentality i once quit a job because they wanted me to work wednesdays okay like you try to kill me no i quit one dude i'm not even kidding one time i quit i quit working at mars 2112 because they thought i didn't dance like a sexy enough martian and I was like, I can't have this kind of degradation in my life. So if someone sent anyone to kill me, I'm trying to imagine like my job at the coffee shop, right? That, that one lasted a while. If Doug had been like, if you don't collate these pages by Monday, they're going to hang you for treason. That would have been it for me. That would have been like my resignation would be would be tendered. Um, so there's how I feel about impeachment. I'm alone in this thought, though, because I'm in Mississippi, right? I'm in Mississippi, which is it, it, no one here likes me. And it's not just because I talk, because I rarely say anything to them, right? Like, and they can't really, I try to keep my eyes nice and friendly behind the mask so they can't see the disdain. But somehow they can just like smell the books on me, I think. It's weird. You know, they're like, what, what's going on? And plus, I, I'm starting to develop whiplash because every time they say, hey, Miss Katie, I look around for some old white woman in pearls who's like waiting for someone to wait on her. You know, <laughs> I'm not a Miss Katie. I'm like a, a, a Ms. something at best. Um, let's see, Michaela was like talking about being a lesbian. I wish I were a lesbian. I so do. Because I mean, look at me, guys. I was robbed, right? I drink, I smoke, I swear. I play softball, for God's sake. Like, if there were a lesbian Olympics, I would just show up at the starting line and they'd be like, no need to run this race, <laughs> right? She's all good. But sadly, I keep liking men, which is a mistake every time. Um, every time. What else is going on? Oh, I, uh, I'm adopted and uh, I met my birth mother recently. And she's also very outspoken. Like our first text message, she's writing me and she says, I don't know what really happened in your life, but I'm pretty sure it's better than whatever would have happened if you, I'd gotten an abortion. And I didn't know what to say because there's not really like an emoji for that. You know, <laughs> there's no like hanger bad <laughs> pizza good. So I just sent her a pizza because I was like, everyone likes pizza. And if she'd gotten an abortion, I never would have had pizza. 
And um, then she kept going and she's like, listen, when I met your father, I want you to know I was a sex worker, but your father was not a John. Okay. He was just a merchant Marine who I met in a bar one night. That's all that happened. And I'm like, wait a minute, hold up, hold up. So you're telling me that I am literally what happens when a hooker and a sailor walk into a bar, like no choice, but comedy for me. No choice. Did uh did you like me, Michaela? I'm sorry. I'm like, uh, are you like, I have no idea. You're so entertaining. I have lost track of time and space. No one expected this liberal fire from Mississippi. I do have a JFK cutout in my room that I have to like hide whenever I do my teledoctor appointments. So I'm like, don't mind the liberal. <laughs> but like, I still deserve to live. Um, what else? Uh, I had one more thing that I was going to do, and this is not professional. I've broken every Steve Rosenfield rule, <laughs> but, um, oh yeah, I'm, th I'm getting real tired of being called infirm. I have cerebral palsy and they're like, we need to vaccinate the infirm. And I'm like, no, I just can't climb stairs with a glass of wine. It's not as deep as you're making it. And when people are like, why do they need to leave the house anyway, the infirm? I'm like, well, you know, you get bored with Netflix. I also get bored with Netflix. I mean, Bridgerton was hot, but yeah, I have to find new hobbies. Anyway, you guys have been amazing. Thanks so much for listening.